Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Susie. For those of you who just joined in, hi. I do personal style and makeup videos here on YouTube. And if you reach the end of this video and you absolutely enjoyed the content, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I may have accidentally created the series. Yes. A few weeks ago, I did a video and I recreated the look from Pat McGrath. And right this very moment, I was so inspired by that that I wanted to continue recreating looks from these very popular makeup artists. I have kept looking and looking and looking for what best to recreate next. And so I found one. And it is from none other than Scott Barnes. Yes, I love his bronzed makeup look. And he actually did a tutorial of that on YouTube. So it is this picture over here. Diba ang ganda? Oh my gosh! Sobrang gandang ganda ko. Tapos, nung pinapanood ko pa yung video, kung paano niya ginawa yung makeup, Ang flawless. Parang wala siyang nilalagay. Pero alam mong meron. So we will try to recreate this bronzed goddess look. So are you ready? Of course you are. Let's do it! So I've already put on moisturizer and toner on my face. I will now move on to primer. And we are going to use the Aqua Grip Endless G Primer which is one of the primers I have been using for the past how many weeks now? Kasi yung ganda niya. And you know what? This is proving to be a really, really good primer because meron talagang staying power yung makeup every time I put it on. Next is foundation, and I will be using the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in the shade 128. This is actually the sheerest foundation that I have. And doon sa video na ginawa ni Scott Barnes, kumuha siya ng foundation, tas minatch niya dun sa model niya. Pero hindi yun ang ginamit niya. Ang ginamit niya, mas deeper shade, hindi yung sakto niya, to create that bronzed look. Pero tayo, since ito sobrang sakto na, if I add something to make it deeper, baka sumobrang orange ako. So, we will just stick to just this one kasi saktong-sakto siya eh. So we will put this here. Ganyan lang ulit kadami because it's really sheer. Hindi ganun ka intense na foundation yung ginamit niya. By the way, you know Scott Barnes pala is the creator of J-Lo's Glow. Siya pala yun. Kaya pala gustong gusto ko siya. Because I find that J-Lo's glow is like, it's something that everyone really wants to, to have in their skin. So, with my Bobbi Brown foundation brush, I will just put on some foundation. And we will try to blend this really well so that parang halos wala sa face natin, yung parang wala kang nilagay, wala kang foundation. So, I opted for this foundation brush right now. This is like the OG, the original foundation brush from years ago. Okay, I need more. I need more foundation. Oh, and also for this foundation, I didn't mix it kapag combination to oily skin ka. Yung tendency nito ni Maybelline is to be a bit oily after. So, hindi ko na siya minix. So, ito na lang siya. Pero, ang ganda ng coverage din nito. Tapos, super flawless talaga siya. Kaya, kaya, ito na ang ginamit natin today. Next is bronzer. Alam mo dun sa video, hindi na siya nagpatumpik-tumpik. Dumiretso na siya sa bronzer. Like, he did not put bronzer na parang talagang sinalpak lang niya eh. Binild niya talaga. Kaya siguro naging sobrang flawless yung look nung ginawa niya. Kasi hindi niya like totally parang diniin or nagano Unti-unti niyang binild yung bronzer. Hindi ko alam paano talaga gawin yun. Pero we will try our best today. And we will be using the Issy Co. Um, bronzer in Toast. 
Now I will try to do this the way that he he did like like start sa sa forehead and then dito sa sa cheek then dito and then dito and then let's try to blend this what i like about this bronzer is that first it's really perfect for my skin tone it's not super muddy and then it blends so well and it melts in your in your face in your skin so every time you use it you just have like a nice warm glow in your face but it melts melt so maybe make sure to put your makeup in a room or in cabinets that is away from the sun para hindi sila matunaw agad or mag masira agad I am taking advantage of the very beautiful sun we have here. By the time you watch this video, summer is about to start. And I'm just so excited for this makeup because I would want to use this like on a dinner at a beach side or uh, a family outing or whatever. It's it's so gorgeous and I was I wanted to say it's so gorgeously bronzed. <laughs> Next is contour, and we will be using the Vice Cosmetics, this time in the shade Push. With the same bronzer brush, I will use this one. So, dun sa video, nagtanong yung model. Sabi niya, tinanong niya, um, ano bang mas okay na gawin? Kung contour ba muna bago yung foundation or after? Pero dun sa video, ginawa ni Scott Barnes after. Pero, sabi niya dun sa model, he usually puts contour under the foundation. So, siguro kanya-kanya, di ba? Pero kasi may technique siya eh, kung paano niya ginagawa tong mga to eh, Na parang nag-blend lang sila ng sobrang ganda. Tapos nakikita mo pa rin yung contour. So, let's try to blend this one. Alam mo, ang dami ko yatang nalagay. Pero siya, konti lang inilagay niya nun sa model. So, let's just see. Ito lang. And then, sinabi pati niya na wala dito, hindi dito. Itong space na to, iiwanan natin. Hindi natin lalagyan ng bronzer or kahit na anong contour or any darkening product. Ooh! <laughs> Saw myself in the camera. Oh my gosh. Are you really? Ah, oh, okay yan. Everything's gonna be great. Next is lips. I actually wanted to use a darker shade because you know me, I talagang the the natural uh, lip color is just not my forte. But today we'll do it and we are going to veer away from what he taught us. So lalagyan ko lang ng konting pang contour yung aking lips. And I have the perfect Kiss lip liner from Vice Cosmetics. Are you surprised I'm using a lip liner? <laughs> For those of you who have been watching me, tada! I have one now. What I like about this is that it swipes so easily. And I like how the the sales lady said that it's to contour your lips. So immediately, ah, it's for contouring of your lips. Okay, sige. Binili ko na. And the best part, it's only 195 pesos. Diba? I have gloss already, by the way. So while I was putting on moisturizer, nilagyan ko na rin siya. But we're going to top it off again later. And then I'm going to use the Bobbi Brown lipstick in Bare. It's so nice against the lip liner. Then I'm going to put on some lip gloss. This is also from Vice. 
And then the way that Scott Barnes also applied his lip gloss, it was slowly. And then he was forming like a nice gloss on the ends of the lips. Are you seeing this? I mean, oh my gosh. It's so pretty. Yung pala talaga ang technique for nude lips. You really need something to shape it so that it doesn't look like it's floating in your face. Next is blush. In the video, he actually just used one. But we're gonna do two blushes. Because this will give the health and this will give the tint. So this is the Juvia's Place Bella Blush. It's actually orange. Super pigmented. Nyan grabe to. Pero we will put konti lang. We're going to do it super slowly. lang. May pagka muddy this side, but let's try to fix that later. Okay. And maybe we will put the Izzy & Co. Baby Girl Blush later kapag meron na akong powder. A little bit more. I have the tendency to just rub things on my face, but because his technique was so... Like, he, he was... Parang his hand was really forceful, but it was so light. Maybe it's his tools. Kasi syempre, brushes niya yun eh, yung ginagamit niya. So, alam na alam na niya paano. Ako kasi, madiin. Madiin ako maglagay. So, I'm so tempted to do this. But no, he said nothing here. Just here, where the sun actually hits your face. Next is concealer. This is actually not part of the video. I didn't see him put on any concealer under the eyes of the model. But we're gonna put a little bit so that medyo mag-brighten talaga yung areas na iniwan niya. I will be applying some also on my eyes. Just a little bit. Before, I would go all the way up, but today, because I have bronzer here, dito lang. Then around my eyes. Paakitin ko lang ng kaunting, kaunti. Mamaya, lagyan na lang natin ng bronzer, or ipa-blend na lang natin yung bronzer niya. Next is eyes. He only used like two shades. And today we will be using my Urban Decay palette. And there's like this brown over here and this gold over here. Just these two. He has a technique where he only used one brush. Susubukan natin ngayon to. So what he did was like put... Like a brown here in the crease. Like here lang. Next is the gold. But you know what? I have to change brushes. Kasi parang hindi pwede ito. Let me just do something. Because he also put a brown. Like under here. But I cannot do that with the brush that I use. I'm gonna use this. You just put some in here. And then it's like he connected. And then here going up. So parang nag-connect yung yan, yan. This part and also this part. And then also on the other side. Dito muna. Again, on the crease, I will just connect this. And then I'm going back to this other brush and use the half-baked gold. Yeah, this one. 
and then with just circular motion he did this did he or was that the other technique that he also taught but let's do it together golden goddess lang golden goddess for summer in my last video i actually used juvia's place for the deeper gold to very subtle tong naked yeah parang perfect for the look that we are after today the gold let me just put something like here something to sort of tie up the look next is eyeliner and i'm just gonna line my lids with this bys coffee bean eyeliner pang add drama lang sa mata Now, should I put some underneath? Sure, sure, sure. Just a little bit. Just on the waterline. And then just a little bit here. Now, I'm not going to create a wing this time. I will just let it sit where it landed and not force any lines. Okay, let me just smudge it a little bit here lang, here lang. So I went in a little bit lang here, okay? So, para lang, para lang medyo even. Next is mascara. And because I don't curl my eyelashes, once again, I'll be using the base. And then for my mascara, I'll be using this Hyper Curl from Maybelline. It was my daughter's first communion the other week, and I wanted a mascara that will not fail me on the day if I cry or whatever. So I, I bought this one. Now that's really pretty. Wow. You know the contrast or that combination of brown and black on your eyes? It's so nice. So hyper curl nga. <laughs> Tama ang claims. Oof. So right now I'm noticing that parang muddy yung dito. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna remedy a little bit. Konting konti. I'll add more foundation. Konti lang. Super konti. And then, like, create that line. Then, sa kabila. Para super clear lang yung linya ko nasan yung bronzer. Ayan. Hindi mag mud. Ayan. There you go. And then let's just fix the bronzed area properly. Ayan. Next is powder. And we will be using the Cody Airspun face powder. To mattify our look today, you know, I'm I'm a bit worried that the glow might not come out after the powder because he he actually used a glow powder, but because we don't like glow powder, I will just use a regular face powder, which is this one, the Cody one, but we are not going to put. A very high amount. It's just enough lang dito sa loob. Dito. Sa nose. And here. And then on the forehead. Oh, wait. Wait a minute. Before I do that. You know what? I also saw in another tutorial concealer in this area.
what is actually the point of doing that? You know, I was... <laughs> Sorry about that. I am I also was not sure because some parang it nothing happened. Parang wala nang nangyari. Yeah, dito lang, dito na lang muna tayo maglagay ng powder. And then here, parang nagmuddy siya eh. So lalagyan ko lang ng kaunting powder para mag-set. As in the powder that I'm putting is so minimal para hindi matago yung bronzer na nilagay natin. Alright. Konti lang. And let's not forget to put on eyebrows. So, in the video, he actually used like a golden eyebrow gel. Gold siya, pero wala tayo nun. So, ito lang. So, with this Bobbi Brown eyebrow pencil, konti lang. There. On the finer tip, Again, on that spot. Then, kapag nasobrahan, like I always do, ginagawa ko lang ganito lang. Spooly lang ulit. Kasi, dun sa video, ayaw nga niyang sobrang, parang sobrang ayos na ayos yung brows. Gusto niya sobrang natural looking lang. And then again, on the high points... I love it. <laughs> What's new? I love it all the time. Self-care yan, guys. Kailangan bilib ka rin talaga sa sarili mo na kaya mo, di ba? That's part of self-care. Hindi naman pagiging mayabang yun. Talaga lang. Enjoy ka. Pag-enjoy ka sa sarili mo. Happy ka sa nagagawa mo. Go lang. Di ba? Katulad nito. Happy-happy happy ako pag nag... May makeup ako. I'm so enjoying every bit of this, to be honest. How do you like it so far? Like, this is such a joy to do. And because I feel like medyo natabunan talaga natin ng kaunti yung bronzer. konting konte I will uh, use another one. Pero to... Medyo todo to kasi, itong sa naked ko na bronzer palette. So, really, really a little bit of bronzer. Like, I'm not gonna go crazy. Kasi, you know, ang bilis niya talaga. This is the bronzing powder that I have na medyo super dark sa akin. So, ang uh, ginagawa ko, ano lang ha, literal na super konti. Tapos, minimix ko silang dalawa nung highlighter. Ito lang. Yan. Para yung cream bronze, medyo mamatify at magmix I'm so tempted to put something here. Maybe just a little bit of this goldish highlighter on my naked palette. So this is just finishing touches. So the final step is this cream blush from Issy & Co. So lalagyan lang natin on the tops here. Ito lang. Konting konti lang. Yun lang. Wow, ang yum! So this is the final look. What do you think? Of course, I love it. Let me just break it down to you why I absolutely loved 
this look. First, the bronzer. I finally got to really understand how to apply it. By just watching Scott Barnes' video, I learned that you really just need to put the bronzer where the sun hits your face. And then you don't have to like, like do a hard brush on those on those areas you just need to like do it slowly just pack it in slowly so that it doesn't create like a helmet head for you and then the product is really just nicely spreaded out into your your forehead your your cheeks and under your chin and another thing that this tutorial did for me is that ang dali niya hindi siya mahirap gayahin syempre kung ano yung application niya ng products niya dun sa model, ay iba naman talaga, hindi natin makukopya yon sa matagalang practice yon But, it's easy if we try to recreate it lang. Ang ganda, ang galing, and I think you can do it too. So, why don't you try it also just like me? And another surprise again, it's the nude lipstick. When I applied this lip liner as a contour for the bare lipstick from Bobbi Brown. Hindi nagwa-wash out ngayon yung face ko. Parang sobrang sakto nitong perfect kiss lip liner na to. It's the darker one kasi it, it did lift my lips a little bit. And then also the eyes, he did not even do too much. And he made his technique easy for you to do. Ang galing! Natutuwa ako! I'm so happy that I got to try this. I feel so flawless right now. Like, the camera is really giving me flawless. So that is it for today's video. I sure hope that you enjoyed this content. I am so, 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 so excited to be doing this series of recreating looks by these popular makeup artists. And if you want me to try a look of another makeup artist, please comment below and let me know what looks you would like me to try and recreate for you. And yes, I surely would like to see you on the next video. So goodbye and have a great day!